Are we talking about world events or something more important like water skiing? Yeah, I like water skiing. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so how was your skiing this morning? My skiing was pretty good. I, uh, I'm getting used to the new eight ball course and the offset each way, uh, but uh, I'm coping with it. I'm, I'm adapting, I'm taking it on as a challenge. And what's the biggest challenge about it? Biggest challenge is there's always another buoy. I, I you know, I'm, I'm running 28 off at my reduced speed. Um, not so eager to turn the speed back up to full, but I am eager to tickle 32, and I don't even want to start doing that until I'm doing the right stuff at 28. So I think flow point method was really important in getting me to the level that I'm at now. Uh, prior to flow point, I kind of just hacked at it, and um, through Marcus and Jenny's coaching, I got to learn more about how my body works, whether that's you know the food I'm putting into it or the, uh, the way I'm shoveling it around on top of the ski. So explain flow point to me in general. So four or five years ago, I guess, when flow point was starting up, I found out about it. I wanted to get past the plateau that I've been in for decades on my ski. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I started in on it, I guess, right about the time COVID was ramping up, so I had a lot of time to think about it on Zoom. But as you know, we didn't shut down here at the pond over COVID. We kept skiing. That's right. And uh, I got another pass and a half out of just the mechanics that Marcus is teaching and the, you know, food is a drug and your body is a temple that um, Jenny's teaching. I have to say that the combination of flow point along with taking my yoga practice more seriously has really helped because what Jenny and Marcus call athletic stance and positioning yourself on top of your ski, my yoga teacher would call mountain pose. When, um, when in yoga we work on mobility on top of stability, you know, Flow Point taught me that Water skiing is really about moving your body on top of the ski surface and positioning it in the right way with respect to your body. So it's kind of like stability on top of mobility as you ski the ski in and out. Shep, it looked like you had a good set this morning. What did you think? I had a great set, Kathy. Um, the, the, um, the water was good. I'm getting used to the eight ball course. You know, everyone at their own level, right? And I'm not just going out there to breakthrough into 32 off today though I'd like to do that someday but just to be there what do you feel flow point has given you as far as changing your body type like where do you feel the strongest what has been the most benefit that's a great question well you know flow point is so many things to me mostly in my mind but also in in, in, in my body mm -hmm. I'd like to think it's about using my upper body better though I'm still notoriously Popeye when I get panicked, but if I can ski in the trusting mindset that I'd like to be when I'm in that flow point head, mm -hmm. then I, fe I feel that my upper body is proud and my shoulders are resting on top of my mm -hmm. hips and underneath my hips, the ski's mm -hmm. doing the right thing. So I I'd say it's that, but at the same time, put on the ski right now and go out there and my shoulders will roll forward, the biceps will come in, but right. I know that's happening. But you're gaining on it. You feel like you're gaining I, 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 on do it. Feel, I do feel I'm, I'm, I'm hugely gaining on it. One thing that Flow Point did teach me after over two decades of, of skiing the same speed and line length, basically, struggling to get through 28 off like I did back when I was 28 years old, mm -hmm. um, was the angle of attack of the ski. For so long, I've just been skiing like with the ski up in the air and using it as this perpetual break. And, uh, you know, you'd think as an engineer, I'd recognize these things sooner. But one day, Marcus is doing a chalk talk, and uh, as he's wont to do on flow point so many times. And I'm thinking, wow, I guess I could get out to the second ball if I just had the ski flatter and kept it that way. And, you know, that one takeaway, th that's where I got that pass that got me through 28 and into 32 back mm -hmm. when I started in on flow point. So Skiing has evolved and Marcus has evolved with it and now you're evolving your body with Jenny to meet that expectation. For, for certain. Look, I think I use 
maybe 5% of what Marcus and Jenny put out there, but that 5% is an infinity. It, it really is, and it's been an infinity to my skiing. I, you know, my hat's off to the other flow pointers who are so much more committed than I am, mm -hmm. and it's not surprising they're getting results that are significantly better than mine, but I, I just you know, need to make a testament to the fact that just that little 5%, to someone who's been plateauing for so long can make all the difference in the world. Very cool. Yeah. Good. Want to take a look at um? Want to take a look at some of the Ember video that um that I did? And we can uh, talk about it together. Let yeah. me let me bring it up over my shoulder here. <laughs> there. <laughs> so um, this is my 22. I can't tell if this is 22 or 28, but it's pretty awful. What do you think? What do you see here? Well, I see you trying to work on those things that have been. Uh, holding you back but it comes and goes yeah what's with the um what's with the ski being launched into the air i mean i could do a pretty good um wake 180 on uh, on my wakeboard but um, i don't think the people at d3 are going to be giving me the endorsement anytime soon with this no have you thought about trick skiing <laughs> I like I like wakeboarding. I don't like trick. Tri I don't like trick. I need a skeg. I'm, I I can't I can't be on the water without a skeg. Anyone who tricks is a god or goddess to me. Yeah, that's true. Have you tried? Yeah, back in the day. But okay. I don't know how to do anything. Yeah, and the, being in the boat with trick skis. Oh my god! Like watching paint dry. I mean, yeah, but I, it's no fun for them when they're learning and falling, yeah. and smashing. And Everything yeah, done driving for trick before there was a button you could press. Oh, ugh, ugh. and every, there's no you never thought no one thanks you. You so, know. Have if, you gone to the camp? I haven't. I I, I haven't. The uh, it, it that sounds like be on your list. So I want to see the camp come here. Uh, Marcus, Jenny, you want to <laughs> stay? You can stay with Susan and me. We've got a nice place. It's got a nice site here at Doobies. Now instead of six balls, we have eight. So um, it's it's all what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi. <laughs> you want to come down? No. Okay. <laughs> well, we can stop. Yeah, we can stop. That was good. Thank you so much for that.